Hey everybody, and welcome to Why Buy. Today we're going to be talking about the Edelkrone Slider 1 version 2, the Flex Tilt Head version 3, and the Head 1. This is a product that really caught my attention because it's something that is so simple to set up and use and it adds so much value to your shots. So when it comes to product photography, um, it's really hard to get close up macro shots or any type, you know, sequences um, without a slider. So what people typically do is you get a towel, <laughs> put it on the ground, set the camera down, and then you just, <laughs> Um, that's the cheap alternative to buying a slider. Uh, because I find it's not just, you know, convenience. When you're doing anything artistic or creative, if you can have things ready to go and, you know, kind of grab instantly because you got an idea on the fly, that's really what helps you express yourself as a, you know, cinematographer. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, wow, that looks ex like exactly what I'm looking for. And let's face it, most camera equipment is insanely expensive. So seeing something that's practical, easy to use, and uh, also you know cost effective is kind of how I you know identify products that I'm actually going to purchase. Now there are some competitors that they might offer something that's very similar in size, um, but what I found is Edelkrone has a suite of different products that work really really well in conjunction with this slider especially when I'm buying into a new product category that I haven't before, I really look at the company closely in terms of what their warranty policy is, how they treat their customers, and of course, you know, what is the overall support system like for the product line? Because while the slider is great, I was curious, I'm like, well, what about, you know, pan tilt features or what other things do they offer to basically build off of this if I decide to buy into this ecosystem. And that's essentially why I bought into Edelkrone is they looked like it had the best build quality, the best products for support, and also the best customer support. So I think it's really important to know if you're looking at, you know, the Edelkrone slider one that's motorized, um, it doesn't come with the head one and it doesn't come with the flex tilt head. Now you could utilize this on its own with your camera and you'll be able to get those nice track shots, but there's a problem with that. So if you were to just buy the slider one version two, there is no ability for you to tilt the camera up and down or side to side. You are completely limited to the direction the track is facing. And for some shots, that might be all that you need if you're on a budget. But I really think for the extra 130 bucks, uh, at the very least, get the flex tilt head because this will give you the opportunity to basically position your camera at different angles this gooseneck design is fantastic. You can tighten it to, to handle different stress tolerances and weight. The Allen key actually is just magnetic here. It fits right in the side, I love that. It's got a leveling sight right on it, the build quality, it's machined aluminum, it's really nice. Part of me wishes that this flex tilt head just came with the slider one, uh, but I realized that the reason they did this is that this isn't the first generation of the slider and people probably already have this, so in order to lower the price point, they probably just left this guy out, but um, yeah. The other thing too, I just wanna point out what's nice is you don't need a, an additional tool to be able to mount a camera to this. So you have a tightening wheel that you just adjust with your hand, and then you also have a built-in Allen key uh, to adjust which direction the bracket's gonna be facing. So it's all compact, you know, you don't have to worry about a little bag full of tools. This is just something that, you know, you take with you and it's ready to go. So is it worth getting the Edelkrone Head 1? Yes. 
When I originally got the Edelkrone slider, I was like, okay, well, let's test it out just in its base form. I mounted a camera and I started to uh, see what kind of shots I could get. And immediately I was like, oh, we need rotation. The ability to just have to, you know, take your product, put it in frame, articulate it a little bit, and you know, your slider's just doing its own thing. It saves so much time. Another thing that uh, I like about the head one in conjunction with the slider is that uh, you can use it as a turntable. So there was a few shots I did like this for the uh, Game Boy documentary where this was rotating on the table and I actually had the uh, slider with the camera mounted moving in a vertical position. It's a beautiful shot and again, it's such a compact system that uh, it really helps you get creative with how you capture uh, your cinematography. So I've had this system now for a couple months and what's it like? I actually use this thing quite a bit. Because it fits in my bag, it goes with me wherever I go. If I'm on a shoot, it, you know, it takes nothing to throw this in the camera bag. And if I see a shot that I feel could use a slider movement, it's so quick to set up that I can quickly grab it, position it, and I'm ready to go. I have to be perfectly honest, when I initially got this, I did not watch the video tutorials or read the manual. I was just like, oh, let's go. <laughs> let's see how this thing is gonna look. And I was fumbling with it quite a bit, trying to get it to pair properly. I wasn't giving it time to calibrate. And one of the things I should mention, um, you have to pay attention to leaving this thing sitting at idle. It's pretty good about putting itself in a mode that won't drain battery while it's just sitting here, um, but there's no on off switch. So once you insert the batteries, it's on and it's gonna stay on. This is good if you're you know, far away from the unit and you're operating it with your phone. Maybe you're in a different area on set operating a different camera. Uh, sometimes it's nice uh, that it's just ready to go always. But if you don't have a lot of batteries backup for this thing, um, just watch that because uh, you could cook through them inadvertently. One of the first questions that came to mind for me was, okay, so this thing just sits great. It's on a tabletop surface. That's fantastic. Uh, what if I'm out in the field? So they do sell uh, accessories like these little legs that can kick out and you can basically put it on a dirt or rocky surface and you know, uh, basically balance it. Uh, I just hook it up to a tripod and that's what's nice is the, the base of this, you can just uh, attach this to your tripod. So let's say you wanted to get a vertical shot and you, know, you mount it to your tripod uh, like so. Um, you know, you move the articulating neck to how you want it to go. And essentially, I don't want to do it while I'm just holding it in my hand, but with the uh, app, you would just pull it up and down. Or, you know, on your tripod, get this the steepness of angle, whatever you need to get. And uh, that's why I love this flex tilt head because <laughs> it articulates uh, so that you can always, you know, frame up. So I just want to give you a quick example of how easy this is to set up and film a subject. So uh, let's take this PS5 controller. You know, we set it down here and uh, this lens might be a little bit overkill, but um, it does have a macro. So uh, we're going to pan over uh, to our subject. And it's actually a pretty quick motorized uh, slider and you can control the speed as well so you can get really, really tight, uh, beautiful shots. Let's see if we can. Okay, this, uh, this might have been a bad lens choice for this, but it's just for demonstration purposes. Um, so uh, I have my subject placed. Uh, yes, I like that pose. You save it. It's just uh, recorded here. By the way, you can hook up your camera into the slider so that you can remote control the record function through the app. Um, so I like that as my pose one. Save that. Now I have those two poses saved, which I can go back to any time, but what I do, I'll just set those two poses and I'll put it on a loop. It'll just stay going back and forth on that subject. And this is really helpful uh, if you're you know, operating by yourself the shot's probably gonna be out of focus, but I love the fact that, you know, you can have a position for, you know, different products and you wanna change up the product and, and put something else down. You know, it's, it's such an easy way to do product photography, you know. I used to dread having to do product photography uh, because to get these kinds of shots is so, so difficult, but now I look forward to it because you can get, you know, macro 
precision, really, really close with your subjects. And uh, it's just, it looks beautiful. Just keep in mind when you're doing these types of shots, uh, it's always good to anchor your system down, whether that's with a tripod uh, or a quick clamp or something like that, because uh, the last thing you want is this tipping over and your lens taking a header. So if you have more of a cinema camera setup rather than DSLR uh, or a mirrorless camera, um, they do make a slider uh, one pro. So that I think can handle up to double the weight tolerance. Whereas this one's about five pounds, that one can handle up to 10 pounds. It is more expensive, but uh, again, if you wanna get those shots and you wanna have that smooth movement, uh, go for the pro if you have a, a cinema camera. But like you can see here, I use DSLRs or mirrorless cameras with pretty thick glass up front and this thing can handle the weight. Uh, I'm really impressed with, you know, just how smooth the, the movements can be. The only time I notice jitters is, you know, if I'm extending the camera out and actually, even with the uh, prime lens that I put on here, you know, if, if I extended the neck outwards like this, uh, for, for track shots, I didn't really have much an issue, but as soon as I started to move in some pan motion in there, uh, you kind of saw a little bit of camera jitter, but that was just me being lazy and, uh, you know, not swapping out lens, uh, not watching the weight and that sort of thing. But if the, even with a heavy lens, if the weight is positioned close to center, you'll get really nice smooth shots. If you buy this thinking that you can just, you know, plug it in and go, or it comes with a battery, it doesn't. You need to have these batteries uh, prior to, and, it's, it's one thing that I wish would have been better integrated was the ability to plug it into like say a wall outlet or something because if you're filming indoors, um, it would be nice not to have to worry about going through batteries so fast. But um, the only way to do that is with a dummy battery. So you could you know, put in a dummy battery power pack and plug it into the wall if you wanted. But um, I don't know why they didn't have like an external DC out or something that you could power this thing uh, just by plugging it into the wall. Now, while the system is very quiet, you still hear it if the subject you're filming or the microphone that you're using is close to uh, the motors. So I'll give you an example. I just was using a shotgun mic on the camera that was mounted to this thing, but as it was kind of moving along, you could hear it very slightly, uh, but it was there and it, it kind of ruined those shots because uh, I could only use them for visuals. I couldn't actually use them for audio. I also wanted to say about the head one unit, uh, if you don't calibrate this properly, you're gonna run into all sorts of problems. So um, let's say for example, you were filming and you switched out the camera and lens setup that you had for this. Because it calibrates when it's booted up, if this is still running and you change the weight uh, distribution that's on here, you're gonna get jitters. It's gonna have a hard time figuring out uh, what's going on. So uh, just reconnect it on the app. All you have to do is disconnect the battery, reconnect the battery. One of the companies I have a lot of respect for is Apple. And I think there is some DNA that you're gonna see here in Edelkrone. Um, a lot of the products they have, the quality control and product consistency is there, but uh, one of the things they also offer is a trade-up program. So similar how you could trade in your uh, iMacs or MacBook Pros or iPhones, um, and they'll give you a value for that to upgrade. Um, Edelkrone does have a trade-up program for their camera equipment as well. So uh, if you have older versions or if you want to upgrade to new gear of any kind, uh, you can send this in, they'll give you a valuation for it probably not as much as what you could get if you sold it privately, but still, I think the, I think the motivation behind doing that is, you know, they wanna make the customer experience really easy. And I appreciate that because trust is a big thing uh, when you're buying into any new brand or any new line of products. So uh, I appreciate the effort and, you know, the energy they're putting into uh, making the buying experience so easy. So if you're thinking about getting one of these, uh, you can buy it directly from Edelkrone. It's what I did. Uh, the shipping time was pretty fast too. Uh, by the time I ordered, I think it was two, two and a half weeks uh, before I actually saw the products and they all came together. And uh, yeah, I was uh, you know impressed with the customer service. Uh, they don't send me nonsense uh, newsletters or <laughs> follow-ups or anything like that. Uh, it's a great company. They make a fantastic product. And um, yeah, if you're thinking about you know getting one, just get it. It's one thing that I'm always concerned about when buying new equipment is, 
you know, am I buying this because it's exciting and it's new or is it something I'm actually going to use? Um, you know, does it serve a purpose? And this is one of those pieces of gear that uh, I'm really glad I have because I'm finding myself using it more and more uh, whenever I go out to, to get footage. And, you know, it's just, it, it in a way it takes a load off in terms of pressure and having to get certain shots because the things I was doing before um, to try and get those smooth movements, you know, I think if you're a videographer who's on a budget, but not even on a budget, if you just like to travel light and you want you know, something with you that's reliable and uh, quick to set up, this is the one to have. So if you thought this video was helpful, please like and subscribe, show your support, and thanks for watching. Uh, so it was a little bit lighter still, but um, I think I bumped the battery. <laughs> talking about the Edelkrone Slider 1 version 2, the flex tilt head, like a, a voltage adapter or anything like that. Voltage adapter? <laughs> okay, Edelkrone Slider 1 version 2. <laughs> I totally did this backwards. Just grab a part. Uh, <laughs> this, even this, this, <laughs>